Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So after Canelo got further exposed against Edgar Belanga, other pro boxers are giving him bad reviews as well. Shakur, he reacted by saying, my honest takeaway from watching the fights tonight is I'm so effing cold at this boxing-ish. I'm going to go down as one of the greats and one of the best to lace him up. I'm on a very, very, very high skill level, and these fighters can't beat me. Hashtag chasing greatness. He would also go on to congratulate Edgar Belanga, saying that he did good. So what Shakur is basically saying in this post is watching Canelo Alvarez's performance just further validated that Shakur is on a much, much, much higher level. That is clearly what he meant. Like Shakur said, that was his only takeaway from watching this fight as he realizes that he is on a very, very, very high skill level compared to fighters like Canelo. Shakur, he also realizes the double standards. Shakur knows that if he was in the ring or someone else that looks like Shakur was in the ring fighting against an Edgar Belanga in their division and the fight went 12 rounds, old media and the rest of the race fans, they would have a field day trying to discredit those black fighters. We know what time it is. So I had somebody in my comment section trying to defend Canelo Alvarez's performance by saying he won almost every single round. For those of you guys who don't know, you can actually win a fight and win every round and still get completely exposed. I mean, winning the majority of the rounds just proves that you're better than the guy you were just fighting. But when you're being compared to the best competition out there, all of your attributes are being compared to those fighters. At the end of the day, there's no doubt about it, Canelo Alvarez is a good fighter. He just happens to be one of the most overrated fighters of all time. There's no way Canelo Alvarez should be fighting the weakest opposition and going 12 rounds with all of them. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. But what we don't talk about is, you know, we, oh, Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Steroids, steroids, steroids. Y'all don't talk about that. So we don't know. We really don't know all the fighters he beat. And he was going what, what, he could have been not clean in a lot of fights. You think he was clean the night he fought? I, I, I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know. That's y'all. Uh, uh, this Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Oh, man, this kid was it's a cakewalk. Kid, easy. You made fun. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.